Do you think the war was necessary? Because we were talking about this, how this conversation wasn't being had, definitely mm. not in the mainstream, which trickles down to art imitating life, probably people in their household. And people felt so passionate about what you were doing because there was something being said that wasn't being said. announced that the gender war is over last year. Now we're going to negotiate the peace and self-awareness. And self-awareness for me, I think if you're self-aware, I'm self-aware, we can both sit down and figure out, does your crazy match my crazy or does your crazy make my crazy go nuts? And if that's the case, shake hands apart friends instead of doing stuff that doesn't work because then blaming it on the other person versus if you realize you really didn't want this kind of thing. So I'm really trying to take anything, I'm trying to take anything I can to help explain to this complex mating dance that we do and make it simple. Do you think the war was necessary? Because we were talking about this, how this conversation wasn't being had, definitely mm -hmm. not in the mainstream, which trickles down to art imitating life, probably people in their household. Mm -hmm. And people felt so passionate about what you were doing because there was something being said that wasn't being said, mm -hmm. which then inspired other conversations. So do you feel like they needed to be a war? for things to be put out there on the table, and then now we can take all that information and make something of it? Yeah, it's like a relationship. I mean, if one person just kind of holds everything in and the other person's more expressive, eventually there's gonna come a point in time where there's gonna be an explosion. And then when that happens, it's usually a shock. It's like, you've never responded that way before. That person feels relieved. You're like, okay, well, that was unusual that I need to pay attention. Now you can say, okay, here are all these puzzle pieces. Now what do we do? And what happened was men felt like they weren't being heard. Um, also, we didn't make the mediums to be heard as well because we did not care to talk about relationships. Uh, so thank you to the pandemic gods because everybody was at home. And I mean, uh, I'm not arrogant enough to think this is about me. I've said this for the longest. It's not about me. It was a moment in time. Uh, I was just a good messenger for uh, for the vehicle of the communication to happen right now. And now it's starting to happen. I look at YouTube every day and I'm seeing groups of women, men and women sitting on podcasts talking about relationships. We're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. And even if what we get is, I'm not going to get married as a man. I'm going to live life as a digital nomad or I'm going to, as a woman, find my truth. If you're self-actualized, you understand that you don't have to want... Blame other people for what does or doesn't happen. It's all yours.